Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to see the latest PSCRB questions that are asked in DG Shipping Exit Exam. So let's begin. So the first question is, the marine evacuation system shall be capable of transfer of person from ship within. These are the options: five minute, ten minute, twenty minute, and thirty minutes in case of a passenger ship. So the correct answer is. 30 minute in case of a passenger ship next the marine evacuation system shall be capable of deployment and from this option the correct answer is by one person next question is with the sprinkler system and air system on all hatches shut the survival craft will provide protection from a and the correct answer is fire and toxic environment next an inflatable life raft is hand launched by and the correct answer is throwing the entire container overboard next an inflatable life raft should be lifted back aboard the ship by using correct answer from this is the towing bridle next the canopy of an inflatable life raft should Correct answer is go into place as the raft is inflated. Next, all inflatable life raft have and the correct answer is water stabilizing pockets. Next, after abandoning ship, which action should be taken immediately upon entering a life raft? And from these options, the correct answer is get clear of the ship. Next, the purpose of the four water pockets located on the underside at each corner of the raft is two and the correct answer is act as stabilizers by filling with sea water as soon as raft is inflated and in an upright position next a vessel heading east southeast is on a course of so correct answer is 112 and half degree next the operating cord of the inflatable life raft has a length of so correct answer is 100 feet next most lifeboat are equipped with dash and the correct answer is unbalanced rudder from these options next if the hydrostatic release mechanism for an inflatable life raft is not periodically serviced and become inoperable it will fail to so from this option, the correct answer is it will fail to free the life raft from the vessel. Next, what is the biggest danger to life when your vessel has collided with another ship? So from this option, the correct answer is possibility of capsizing. Next, if water is rising in the bilge of survival craft, you should first dash. So the correct answer is check the bill's drain plug. Next, under what condition could you still perish when on a life raft at calm waters and spot the wrong answer. So here we have to spot the wrong answer. So correct answer for this question is there might be a sudden swell due to wind to capsize the raft. Next, the self life of a pyrotechnic is so from this option, the correct answer is 48 months. All other pyrotechnics have the shelf life of 42 months. But those are fitted with propellers have the shelf life of 48 months. Next, tankers are built for safety in facing an emergency such as collision, etc. Spot the wrong answer from the list below. So the correct answer for this question is tankers are high speed ships which can move away from an emergency spot quickly. Next, which of these requirements regarding the launching and recovery arrangements for rescue boat correspond to the SOLAS regulation? So correct answer from this option is embarkation and launching arrangement shall be such that rescue boat can be boarded and launched in less than 5 minutes. Next, when a person who has fallen overboard is being picked up by a rescue boat the boat should normally approach with the wind dash and from this option the correct answer is just off the bow and the victim to leeward next 
a person has fallen overboard and is being picked up with a rescue boat if the person appear in danger of drowning the rescue boat should be maneuvered to make from this option the correct answer is the most direct approach next you are picking up a person who has fallen overboard a rescue boat should be maneuvered to normally approach the victim with the dash and the correct answer is victim to leeward next one of the first action to be taken by survivors when they have boarded an inflatable life raft is to from this option the correct answer is prepare to cut the sea painter next if an inflatable life raft inflates upside down you can ride it by so the correct answer is standing on the co2 bottle holding the bottom straps and throwing your weight backwards next limit switches on gravity david should be tested by and the correct answer from these options are pushing the switch lever arm while the winch is running next the centrifugal brake mechanism incorporated in a life boat handling winch is intended to dash and the correct answer from this option is automatically control the speed of lowering by gravity next which data is not painted on the bow of a life boat so from this option weight of the boat is not painted anywhere so correct answer is weight of the boat next the maximum speed of lowering for a life boat on gravity davids controlled by the dash and the correct answer from this option are governor brick next the jack knife stored on an inflatable life raft will always be located so correct answer is in a special pocket near the forward entrance and the last question is the function of the life boat david limit switch is to dash so from this option the correct answer is cut off power to the winch when the life boat near the final stored position thank you for watching please subscribe the channel for more videos